as I mentioned in my previous video, I was lucky enough to uh, win some Hampshire Sheen in the Euquist raffle um, at their exhibition. Uh, so I thought I'd try it out, and uh, what I've done is turn myself a very simple spindle. For it's actually for a, another thing I've got coming up. I am going to use it a bit of uh, practice with my various tools. Always good to have practice pieces and try it out. I've then finished it off by uh, sanding it down to 600 and then sanding sealer and then sanding that down with 600 and then I've just put a, a marker to show each different section because what I've got is I've got high gloss Hampshire Sheen I've got titanium wax Hampshire Sheen and I've got original Hampshire Sheen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Apply a bit of each of these uh, to the practice piece and see what it looks like and see if I can tell any difference between the different finishes. I say I've used this briefly on a bowl which I showed in the last video. Um, I do like the effect. It's This was a combination of I believe tie wax and I think then original over the top. Um, so yeah, feels nice, seems to be quite economical to use, but uh, I'm interested to see the difference in the finishes. So let's give it a go. Okay, this is original, it's got a bit crusty in the tin, and I'm also only going to use a very small amount of it. It does seem to cover very well. And then I'll spin this up. Now it recommends putting it on with the lathe turning and then speeding the lathe up for some buffing, so we'll do that. And I'm going to put it on the first band here. give it a chance to buff in. sure how well this is actually going to show on camera that's quite a subtle effect from the original um, I'll give that a bit of a time to, to set up it's still quite tacky and we'll give it another buff out so okay, this is quite striking different quite pale looking and this is the uh, titanium wax so let's give that a go on the next piece Interesting that one actually heats up quite a bit when you use it. I was getting quite a lot of temperature there. Right, same with this one, we'll leave these to buff down. But I have to say it's a less waxy feel, but quite smooth already. Right, and we'll move on to the last one. And this looks a bit more like the original. Uh, Way too much on them. Mm. Right, so I'm just going to give these all a little chance to set up, but. Titanium wax, I think, is the one that interests me most at the moment. That seems to have done a, a sort of smoothing job as much as anything. Finishes, yeah, the moment the original is quite dull. 
matte almost dull oh, seems unfair and the titanium and the high gloss are both produce quite shiny surfaces the titanium feels like it's polished more almost like a fine polishing paste but both of them are very smooth and the initials a bit more waxy right well it said we'll leave them let them set and then we'll give them a buff up yeah impressed with the results there and the original Hampshire sheen does put a, a gentle sheen on the wood I'm quite taken by the the tie wax that seems to almost have a polishing effect in what it does and uh, yeah, maybe use that more as a, as a final finishing coat before putting one of the other ones on, who knows. And then there's the Hampshire Sheen High Gloss, which I think with a bit of working would certainly live up to that name. It's certainly as high gloss as the Titanium. Um, yeah, impressed. They seem quite economical to use, uh, and I'll continue experimenting with them. And I'll let you know uh, how I get on with them over time. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Cheers, everybody. See you in the next video.